in the northern reaches of Japan is the nation's second largest island, Hokkaido. There, in the rural town of Bibai, are the ruins of a former schoolhouse that has gained weight as being called one of the most haunted places in the country. Built in 1906, the building has a circular design, which is the reason for the name, the Round Schoolhouse. From the 1940s up until the 70s, it was used as a school, and the nearby coal mine was a big reason for that. In 1958, the school's wooden buildings were replaced with concrete ones, and at its highest capacity had over 1,500 students. Then, in 1972, the mine closed down. And in 1974, so did the school. 1978, some of the buildings were demolished, leaving only the gymnasium and the main building standing. The building seems to have been left as it was the day it was abandoned, with tables and desks waiting for students to arrive. But the grounds of the property have become overgrown, with thick brush and a playground which has been taken by the forest. Even the roads seem to have been enveloped by the woods. The only way to reach the school now is on foot. Locals claim that the surrounding woods are haunted by mysterious lights and half-glimpsed shadow figures. The night air is often pierced by screams and the giggles of children. In the late 70s and the 80s, the round schoolhouse became a popular place to go for ghost hunting. Trespassers to the site would return with terrifying tales of all kinds of paranormal activity in and around the property. Paranormal investigators who have been there consistently put this location in their top 10 lists of Japan's most haunted places. And there have been Japanese spirit mediums who have been so overwhelmed with negative spiritual energy here that they refuse to ever return. It is rumored that several children went out to play in the woods by the schoolhouse and had never returned. More sinister stories tell of people going off to explore the ruins only to disappear without a trace. And people talk of abandoned cars found on the nearby road, their occupants said to have gone off toward the schoolhouse, only to never make it back to where they parked. Perhaps the worst thing is when they do come back, only to be completely insane, driven to madness over whatever they had seen. Some have witnessed some sort of vortex or interdimensional doorway within the round schoolhouse. Is there some sort of portal here, or is it all just an illusion? With all the reports of disappearances, it does seem to fit the idea that the site harbors some sort of doorway through dimensions, and that this place is not just haunted, but rather a bridge that crosses into another reality. Our reality is that we will judge for ourselves whether this site is haunted. Is there a portal to another dimension? Or are we just going in circles? <laughs>